If you're anything like me and you recently opened Premiere Pro, you most likely were like <laughs> In this episode of Quick Tip, I want to show you how you can downgrade your Premiere Pro icon to your old beloved one. All right, all you need is you need an old version of the Premiere Pro icon in an ICO format. I will link a link in the video description below where you can download that exact icon I have here on screen. The thing is, when you download it, you need to place it into a folder which gets not deleted because as soon as this icon gets deleted, our linked application icons won't work anymore so uh, make sure to place that folder somewhere where it's safe in my case i went to the adobe creative cloud install directory and in there i created a new folder called downgraded icon and there i placed the icon in order to downgrade our premiere pro icon or in more technical terms to replace the icon of our application we need to go to the start menu there find the premiere pro link do a right click on it, say open file location. In the file location, do a right click on the application you want to change the icon for, go to properties, in there you will find change icon and navigate to the new folder in which you place the old icon. It will be downgraded icon and in here, click that, say open, say okay, okay. You might have to agree to use administrative privileges to actually be able to change that. So just click continue and change it. And from now on, if we start Premiere Pro 2020, we should be able to see our old icon in our taskbar. But in the application, we will still be greeted with the new icon. But at least we have our old icon back at the bottom. And that helped me a lot to find my work faster because I was so thrown off by that new color because blue isn't Premiere Pro guys, sorry, it's not. So if I'm working and I want to switch to Premiere Pro, I'm not clicking onto blue because blue is Photoshop. Whatever, so uh, this is how to change it, but uh, as a bonus, I show you how to change it back to the original in case you at some point want to accept that we have to accept and live in a reality where Premiere Pro has a blue icon. If you want to change it back, it's the same thing. You go again and click on properties of the software you want to change the icon for. Go to change icon and to uh, get the original icon of the application, you need to click on browse and then go to the path in which the Premiere Pro application is installed. Then scroll to the application, say open, and now you will see all the icons which are included into this application, which is of course including the original icon. Just click that, say okay, apply again, agree to use administrative privileges and continue, apply, okay. And the next time we open Premiere Pro, we should be back to old new icon which is blue guys that's photoshop that's not premium pro i hope this video helped you to get around that new reality which we all have to accept at some point and uh i hope this video helped in case you want more videos like that and want to see me do videos which are actually planned and scripted not just like this which was a a, a blind take subscribe <laughs> all right uh i will see you in the next one which might be a roller coaster related video so bye